So this guy is minding his own business, playing a keyboard in public for his TikTok content, when all of a sudden this young woman, we're gonna call Misery, decides to come up and start messing with him for no reason. Yeah, it gets worse. After disrupting him once, they move on, or so you would think, Misery decides to come back like it always does, and decides to mess with him again. This time, completely knocking down his keyboard setup in the middle of him singing some good old Billy Joel. I can feel the cringe through the screen. Now, I don't believe it was intentional to knock down his keyboard, but it was intentional to be a total a-hole. What's worse is she doesn't even seem to care that she's ruined what he was trying to do, which is just bring some joy and happiness to people. But it gets worse. <laughs> Yeah, you actually just can't make this up. After disrupting him once and then outright ruining the show, she goes to what looks like give him a tip to apologize for ruining the show, but then actually just robs his money. It still gets worse. Then her friends come back to him and ask if he wants to hit about it. Look, I don't know the Gen Z slang, but I guess that means fight. Because asking someone if they want to hit, that can mean a lot of things. <laughs> And like you would expect, the internet are not very happy with this woman. I know this guy is saying not to harass this woman, but if anyone in the world deserved a good harassing, it would be her. Frick that bitch. I saw the TikTok video, they doxed her whole life, parents, place of work, even bringing up her previous credit card fraud arrest. It was not just a blast. TikTok dropped a nuclear bomb on her. The girl in the video actually apologized for her actions. In a news article, she wrote, I have took accountability for my actions. I know it was wrong and ignorant of me, but please keep my family out of it. Everybody has made mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Again, I'm sorry for my actions. She then she then goes on to say, which is which is pretty funny. <laughs> she knows it's not right, but she said she's seen worse in downtown and has asked people to stop being nasty. Maybe if you didn't ruin someone's entire keyboard setup and then rob them, people wouldn't be so nasty. But after all that, the video does get better. The group surrounding him actually come together and give him some money for his troubles and even help him set everything back up. Shout out to the guy that tipped me after and all of the people that came and helped out after seeing what happened. It really restores my faith in humanity. But even in the same article, he does actually forgive her for being an absolute nuisance and even reiterates that he tells people not to harass her. But the internet is crazy. And if there's one thing you should always remember about the internet is that you cannot hide from it.